And it's the weekend. We all know what that means. Time for Jane Fonda to get arrested again. <laughs> because recently, Jane moved to Washington, D.C. to take up climate change focused activism. And as a part of her protest, she has vowed to get arrested every Friday. Good for you, Jane. Good for you. Come on. Putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? Putting in work. Put in work. Good luck, Jane. It's hard to get arrested in D.C., even if you confess to your crimes on the White House lawn. <laughs> now, so far, Fond has been arrested three times for speaking out against climate change, but it has not slowed her down. She even managed to accept a prestigious BAFTA award while being handcuffed. BAFTA, thank you! Thank you! For the Stanley Kubrick Britannia Award for Excellence in Films. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm not there. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. That's making she made the most of it. Of it. Yeah. She made the most of the situation. Out of lemonade. Thank you. Thank you to my team at CAA. When I get my one phone call, it'll be to you guys. Who says an older actress can't get arrested in this town? Okay, the sirens are playing me off. I love you! <laughs> and... <laughs> Thing is, Jane's not alone. Other celebrities are joining her in being arrested at these protests, including Ted Danson and Sam Waterston who told officers it was his first arrest. And the experience has changed Waterston, because he now has a new PSA for celebrities thinking of protesting climate change. Hello, I'm Sam Waterston, here with a very important warning for my fellow celebrities over 70. And no, it's not that warning, though if it's been more than four hours, you should call a doctor. As an actor, I've played a wide range of roles, from a lawyer upholding justice on law and order to a lawyer upholding justice and on the basis of sex. But unfortunately, my latest role is criminal, and I paid a very high price. I was caught, handcuffed, and photographed from a less than flattering angle. Before my arrest, I was just your average celebrity hanging out, listening to Ted Danson tell stories from the set of Cheers, but now I know the horror of being in a jail cell, listening to Ted Danson tell stories from the set of Cheers. So, to any celebrities considering standing up for their beliefs, ask yourself, do you really want to end up like me? With grandkids walking around thinking you're super cool? Don't get caught on the wrong side of the law just so you can be on the right side of history. Because in the criminal justice system, the people are represented by lawyers, not crimers. Dun dun. We got a great show for you tonight. Conan O'Brien and Curtis Smith.